live with Lori Berkner after her holiday concert here at Ethical Culture. Um, Lori, that was an amazing concert. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, I'm just wondering, how is it? How is a holiday concert? You know, di a different vibe than um, perhaps a regular concert. Um, well. I don't know, for me it feels just kind of a little bit more exciting because I know that there's some other stuff happening in the air right now. I think in December I always just get a little bit like happy and thinking about things and a little stressed out too, but, but it's such a fun time of year. I think there's something kind of, um, to me, a little bit more sparkly and a little bit more joyous even than a regular show, so I love that about it. And you debuted, well, I don't know if it was a debut, but you sang a few new songs off the yes. Springer album. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for that album and maybe the title track? Yeah, um, well, I actually just sat down to write whatever came to mind, and um, Superhero was one of the songs that came out of it. And as I was going back and listening to all of them, I thought, oh, there's Superhero, there's I've Got So Much To Give, there's a song called Face To Face that's really just about paying attention to another person, you know, and there just were a bunch of songs on there that I felt like they were really about feeling strong and empowered and loving who you are and what you have. So um, I thought Superhero would be a great title for it, so that was the title track, and we sang that one today. And are you guys still doing the Be a Superhero Kickstarter campaign? That's over. That's over. Right. But maybe you can tell everybody a little bit about sure. that as well. Yeah, that was um, where... We, we kind of took the idea of being a superhero and rolled it into a campaign where we asked people to pledge for us to take um, those funds and use them to actually do shows in hospitals and special needs schools. And um, I donate my time, but that way I can pay you know, the lighting person and the sound person and someone to come and to manage it and you know that kind of thing. So that way it ends up being something where a lot of people are supporting us, bringing a lot of joy to a lot of kids. So um, it was a really fun thing to do. People got so into it. We also donated lots and lots of CDs, like almost 40 boxes of superhero CDs to um, various places because we were asking the people who, um, who were part of the campaign, or if, even if they weren't, where we should be playing these shows, and we chose those out of a hat. In the meantime, some places that didn't get chosen, we were able to at least send CDs to. So that was really fun. Good. And also, I read that you are turning "We Are the Dinosaurs" into a picture book. Yeah. So when can we see that? Or that's in that? March of 2017, which coincidentally is the 20th anniversary of that song. <laughs> it is just crazy. And it still brings the house down. So it's it does. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a really fun combination of things. And in the meantime, kind of randomly, I didn't know I had the book deal when we did this, but we also turned that song into an EDM dance remix. So um, if you feel like listening to it in a little bit of a different way, it's out there too. It's awesome. <laughs> and I have to say, the Shout Goldfish Medley, if you guys, you guys have to go see Lori, she's mixing up her songs. It is insane. It's so much fun. So how, how did you guys decide to do that? Um, well, whenever... When we do this one song called the goldfish, the fish find different things where that aren't usually what fish do. So we sort of joked about, oh, wouldn't it be funny if they found instruments and they started to play? And then we tried different songs. In fact, like once we were in Atlanta, we knew one of the Indigo Girls was in the audience, so we did Closer to Fine. And it's like, oh, the, the fish started playing Closer to Fine. And wait a minute, fish don't do that. So, um, but then after a while, we discovered that shout has the words in it. Wait a minute, which is the refrain of that song, wait a minute, we're a fish, and it just was so perfect and so much fun that um, we've kind of fallen back on that one for many of our more recent shows. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, sure. We actually did an interview with Lori. It's on nymetroparents.com if you want to learn more about her. And of course, um, is it lauriebirknerband.com? Is that where they can find it? Lauriebirknerband.com. Lauriebirknerband.com, where you can find information on upcoming tour dates. So, Lori, thank you so much. It was a blast. Thank you. I'm so glad you were here. Yeah. Bye. Bye.